new Chinese enforcement was brought up to the front. The 11th and 55th Divisions Indian Army set their defense position along the mountain road. Four Indian brigades were deployed, and it is the only road southbound. At the same time, Indian troops plan to attack north as well. Facing the difficulty, Chinese decided to send 1,500 soldiers through a dangerous mountain trail, called Bailey Trail, to attack Indian armies back, cut them in half. After six days' difficult climbing, Chinese troops merged in middle of Indians. Indian defense was cut into half and Chinese started attack from the north at the same time. Indian 62 Brigade collapse in one day. Indian 65 Brigade abandoned their position without fight. By November 18, Indian 48 Brigade was the only resistance left in battlefield. They were ordered to enforce the front by Indian Army commander. But ran into the Chinese attacking force, collapsed immediately. Chinese troops took Bandila. By this time, no Indian resistance force was left. Large number Indian soldiers surrendered to Chinese. Like knife cutting in two cheese, Chinese smashed towards south. The Assam Plain. News of Indian Army collapse reached New Delhi. It was a scene of panic.
large number of Indians were fleeing to the south. At this time, Chinese declared the ceasefire unilaterally. Chinese claim they have no intention to settle the border disputation by force. The war is only to repel Indians' aggression. Weapons were abandoned by Indian troops everywhere. Chinese troops registered abandoned Indian weapons. They would be returned to India without any condition. Indian representatives came to collect the return war material. Indian captives were released as well. China declared their troops would withdraw to 1959 borderline. And it ended the war.